How's it going? My name is Brennan Kilpatrick. We're going to be doing an uh, online video lesson today. We're going to be checking out the first solo in the Metallica song 1. Um, we're going to be doing this on the Big Lou guitar. Um, if if uh, you, you've ever thought you'd want a wider neck, a little more space in between your strings, check this guy out. Um, Alright, we're going to start off uh, with the, the very first solo. It starts off like this. So if you're familiar with the song, you already know which solo we're talking about comes in right after the intro is played through one time. So right after the... Right there. So we're going to start on the second fret of the D string. We're going to hammer onto the fourth fret. Then we're going to go to the second fret on the G string. Right there. And then we're going to play the fourth fret, but we're going to bend up and then release. We want to bend all the way a, a full full bend. So we're bending all the way up to the note that we get on our 6th fret. And then release it back and if you give a little bit of vibrato it'll sound real nice. Okay. Next part, we're going to play the 3rd fret on the B string, to the 2nd fret, to the 4th fret on the G string. And then we're going to play the same thing but go to the 2nd fret on the G string and then play the same thing going back to that 4th fret. So it's going to sound like this. Okay. And on that 3rd one we do one extra hit on that 3rd fret. Okay. So real quick I'm just going to play from the beginning through to there so you can hear all that's going to sound. Next part of the solo is going to be one of the tougher parts. We're going to come up here to our 11th fret on the G string. We're going to play 11, 9, 7. Then we're going to play 9, 7, 6. And make sure that you're not trying to do all this with one finger. We want to be using our pinky, our middle finger, and our index finger for most of this. Next part we're going to play 7, 6, 4. So now we're going to use our ring finger in there. And then we're going to play 6, 4, open. Then we're going to go 2nd fret and hammer onto the 4th fret. So that whole line is going to sound like this. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. Okay, next part of this guy is going to be, uh, we're going to slide. 2nd fret on the G string, we're going to slide up to the 4th fret. And then do a hammer on pull off using the 2nd and 3rd frets on the B string. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing, slide, 2nd fret, but we're going to play it twice before we do that hammer on, pull off, and then play the 2nd fret on the G string, and go back to the 4th. I know that sounds like a lot, but I'll play it real quick and it'll make a little more sense. Okay. So now I'm going to play everything again all the way up to there so you can hear how all that's going to kind of come together. This is probably going to be one of the tougher parts also, just this little guy right here. We're going to do a, a short, short little sweep here, kind of like one of these guys, but it's going to be real short. We're just playing the 16th fret on the G string, 15th fret on the B string, and the 14th fret on the E string. We're using our ring, middle, and index fingers. And you basically want to scrape the pick across, like that. But you don't want it to sound like you're playing a chord. You want to sound more like this. Okay, real slow. So we go like that. So play these three, 
and then use your pinky to play the 19th fret on the high E string. Okay? Then we're going to play 17, 15, 14, 15. And then 15 on the B string. Nineteen, seventeen, fifteen, or excuse me, seventeen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then fifteen. Okay. Now we're gonna come back up here, seventh fret on the G string. We're gonna go seven, six, seven, nine, seven, nine, eleven, nine, eleven. So like this. And if you just take your, you can either do like a pull off and a hammer on, or you can just slide one finger. And then we're gonna, from this 11th fret, we're gonna slide to the 12. And then play 12 one more time and go back to 11. So that whole part will sound like this. Now this is definitely going to be the most difficult part of the solo, the last part of the solo. We're going to start on the 14th fret on the A string using our pinky. Play the 12th fret using our middle finger on the D string. And then play the 11th fret using our index finger on the G string. And then we're going to play 12 and 14 on that G string also. Same fingers, middle finger for 12, pinky for 14. Next part, we're going to play real similar, all the same, and then we go to the 12th fret on the B string, so I'll play both of those for you. Okay. Last part, we're just going to start off the same again, 14, 12, 11, but then we're going to jump straight to the 12th fret on the B string, and then we're going to play 14, 15, 12 on the high E, and then go back down, 15, 14, 12, back to 14. We're going to pick that two times, and then go 15, 12. This is once again a part that it's a, it's a lot to take in at once, but just take it real slow. Okay. Three of those parts together are going to sound like this. Okay, and that's going to be it. That's the entire solo. This is what it's going to sound like all together. <laughs>